good evening everyone thank you for tuning in uh, we would like to start with the second video of the uh, X tool d7 smart diagnosis tablet it's a wired connection and we're connected to a 2004 Hummer H2 I don't know if you can see it but uh, the key is in the on position so we're ready to select here from the main menu I don't know if we can fit it in here we're going to focus in on special function and then we're going to scroll up here to the ABS bleeding icon and uh, the vehicle here is obviously General Motors. So we got General Motors V1150 is the software, is the latest version. Um, and then the year model we have to confirm manually is going to be 2004 and then let's a light duty truck M MPV and the manufacturer is Hummer and the model is H2. So it looks like it's loading. And uh, it just asks you here to confirm the trim level or the configuration and hit OK. And now we are in the ABS system. Uh, there's two options there for read code or special function. We're going to obviously select special function. There's a tab here for automated bleeding. And then you have your uh, conditions here to begin the automated bleeding. Um, you can obviously do it manually. But uh, this automated bleed for GM helps out a lot, um, especially after servicing. So um, it tells you to check the fluid, pre the fluid level, obviously, and then also uh, um, pump the brake pedal. You will be asked to hold the brake pedal to begin the test. So let's start it now. I'm going to hit OK. And then it's uh, obviously, uh, it's got some more... Uh, notices here to turn on the ignition and check status of the battery uh, because you do not want the battery to fail here we go we're going to select okay automated bleed is initializing please wait and let's see uh open the left front breather screw and continue to brace the brake pedal and release it several times in a rapid succession we're going to hit okay we're holding the brake pedal and now we uh, have a notice here to pump the brake pedal we're pumping the brake pedal and we can feel the brake pedal pulsating because the uh, ABS actuator is working the first left front channel, okay? And then it will obviously continue to the uh, next sequence of bleeding, which will probably be the right rear or left rear. So um, when you're bleeding, sometimes you will notice the ABS and traction control will be uh, disabled, but this is normal. This is normal and uh, it's gonna have that until it's finished and exited out of the system. So you can see the progress is going up to 84, 88%. We're almost done on the front left. So then you would just follow the directions for the remaining, the remaining wheel uh, locations and uh, always uh, double check or have somebody uh, check the safety. Um, we're gonna confirm this for now and uh, make the video short. Thank you, bye-bye.